Okay, so we've been using, uh, we've been creating several user DAOs and whatnot, and finding all users. Let's uh, let's 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 uh, discuss a little further a couple other features that are pretty cool. Uh, let's see, for instance, imagine we want to uh, be able to retrieve a user and um, by their username, say. Right, so let's let's, let's uh, implement that just to just to demonstrate something here. Say I want to be able to do uh, user DAO, and I want to return you know, find a user by username, right? And we want to pro and we will provide the username. Say, uh, let's see, what users do we have there already? Um, okay, so we have, I think we have Alice, right? So let's try and find Alice. So here's Alice, and presumably this uh, this comes back, and um, and here we have. Now this is using the old style uh, JavaScript. I'm going to use the newer style JavaScript, where uh, the results we don't you know the syntax is as follows, right? Instead of having this function here, uh, you can use the arrow function here, like that, right? Um, anyway, so if you go, notice that user find user by find user by username does not exist. Let's go into the DAO and let's implement it. Uh, let's declare it here. Const find user by username, and it's going to receive a username as an argument. Uh, and presumably, we're going to go out to the user model model, and we would implement the find user by name username, and we follow the username. There we go. Now, the way we would implement this. In Mongo, is you would do as follows. You would say db dot. I don't know if you could see. Let me make that bigger. You would implement. You say db dot find. Uh, I'm sorry, users dot find, and you would provide username colon username like that. Uh, oops, <laughs> Alice. I meant. So there we go. So we do have Alice. Uh, so let's try and do the same thing, right? The the way we would implement it the um, in the user model. Uh, oh, sorry, no, wait a minute. This would be what? This would be find. It would be uh, username colon username, like that, right? Okay, and we would export this so that others can can uh, can use it. Uh, now in ES six, uh, if the if, you know, when if you have an object like that uh, in curly bracket, when you create a map like this, um, there is a syntactic sugar that allows you to make it more abbreviated. Right? So instead of instead of using instead of repeating yourself that the property and the value are this uh, you know uh, have the same spelling, um, you can be you can abbreviate that by just dropping the value. Right, and this this uh, is it's understood here that you are creating a map entry that whose value is the same name, right, and is referring to the values in that same object uh, name uh, scope. Uh, so yeah, so so we, we can abbreviate it like, like that. Anyway, so we have find user by username. We are it, we've implemented it right here. Let's uh let's let's go back and try to run it. Here's main, and let's run it. I don't know if you could see it. It's a pretty small, isn't it? Is there a way to make it bigger? All right, I guess I, I won't run it here. Let's me run it from the command line. Let's see, let's go into the command line and let's uh, go into CS5200, 2020. Uh, let's go into, there it is. So there's CS5200, Mongo, and here we should be able to say node main JS. There we go. So it ran, and notice that we're getting an array of of users, right? Even though we know that username is unique, uh, and uh, uh, so so um, when we when we know that the result is unique, right? Um, when we know that the uh, result is unique, the, there's a there's a uh, so so find always returns an array, right? Uh, even though the results is just one one single object, uh, so so it's very common that that uh, uh, in, instead of returning the array, right, we would use things things such as where you know we return the first element of that array, uh, but that's silly, right? Uh, so instead, 
the um, there is a syntactic sugar that Mongo provides that for for operations that are so common like this one, right, where we want to retrieve a single a single document. Uh, so to do that, to use the, the syntactic sugar is called find one. And find one, like the name suggests, right, it uh, uh, it, it presumably returns a single document, right, and because the uh, the query presumably is a the predicate it maps to a single document. So let's try it out. Let's run it again. Notice that this time around, notice that it did not return an array, but it returned that one object. See that? 